Uh, so the team at Matatoa, we were tasked to go clear the intake pipes at the Waipawa water treatment facility, uh, clearing the uh, two water intakes and allowing the water treatment facility to maintain 100% uh, pumping. Uh, so we were conducting the diving using uh, surface supply breathing apparatus, uh, which is the hard hat diving systems that we have, and we managed to unclock the water intakes using uh, airlift, which uh, uses a pneumatic air system uh, with a venturi effect, uh, similar to how you're siphoning petrol out of a fuel tank, uh, drawing all the sludge and the excess silt, unclogging uh, the system into the treatment facility. Yeah, so there was a few challenges on site. The guys had zero visibility down there. They were using their hand to judge how far they could see and they were putting their hands right up to their mask and couldn't even see their hands. So it was pretty challenging. The water situation was quite dire within Gisborne. They had a lot of damage to their water infrastructure, broken pipes, etc. This was the closest and main treatment facility. And so us clearing that allowed them to then uh, go back to full flow through their dedicated pump systems, meaning that the Gisborne uh, town and also people have access to clean drinking water uh, from a very secure source. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.